This painting is called Dusk at Duncan's Landing, and it's painted on the Sonoma coast. I include buildings in some of the landscape paintings because I'm interested in the geometry against the organic shapes. And I'm interested in how they make the landscape feel like it's inhabited uh, without putting people in it. Sometimes there are windows in the buildings, although I believe in the buildings that are here, there are not too many showing. Uh, I like to think that once I've defined the shape of the building, it tells you that it's a building and I'm free to do what I want in it like an abstract painting, like to let it be a shimmer of color or let it reflect other colors that are around. A lot of times I like to have the, the roof, I may make it lighter than it usually is or different to let it um, have some influence of the sky. And, you know, I was thinking that when I was a child, I lived in a house that, um, in Pennsylvania that was brown, and I remember that they painted um, the underpainting, the first coat, they painted it purple. And all of a sudden, I just remembered that, and I thought, you know, I paint a lot of buildings pur purple, and I wonder if this childhood memory of, oh, you lived in that purple house, it didn't stay purple, but if that somehow has stayed with me. And I always ask the painting what color it wants. So I start with the colors that I see, and then I let the painting tell me what it wants to make the colors sing together. And so I think that some aspect of the buildings, that they're very important to shaping the space, and they also, they carry a lot of memories for me in different ways, but um, I think that they have an abstract quality.